In this video, we will demonstrate the mid-carpal test or MC test for the arcuate ligament, also known as the deltoid or V ligament in the wrist. Enroll in our online course now. Link is in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. Palmar mid-carpal instability is characterized by kinematic dysfunction of the proximal carpal row due to damage of the arcuate ligament, also known as deltoid or V ligament. It is referred to as a V as it appears as such on MRI imaging. Granted, it's more of an inverted V joining the proximal and distal carpal rows. While most commonly the SL ligament and TFCC are affected in wrist ligament injuries, the wrist is a complex region and requires thorough assessment as missed ligament injuries may result in persistent pain, instability and reduced grip force and range of motion and could lead to early onset osteoarthritis. Prasa et al. from 2011 evaluated common provocative wrist tests on their diagnostic accuracy when compared to the gold standard, which is wrist arthroscopy. They report a positive likelihood ratio of 2.67, which at most makes a positive test result mightily useful in the diagnosis. As that's the only value reported in the study and no further statistics are available, we give it a weak clinical value. To conduct the test, the patient sits in front of the therapist with the arm placed on the examination table and the wrist in radial deviation. We will demonstrate the test on the patient's right wrist. So, the right hand of the patient is grabbed with your right hand so that your thumb is positioned over the dorsal distal capitate region of the patient's wrist. Then, exert a palmarly directed force onto the subject's wrist so that the carpal bones translate in palmar direction. This adds stress on the arcuate ligament. The wrist is then moved into ulnar deviation while maintaining the palmarly directed pressure. This procedure is repeated in relative supination and pronation. The test is considered positive when the test recreates a painful clunk as the wrist moves from radial to ulnar deviation. All right, thank you very much for watching. This test will also find its way into our assessment ebook and mobile app, allowing you to directly access orthopedic assessments at uni or in the clinic. Check the links in the video description down below for more. Last but not least, if you like this video, please consider subscribing to our channel as this helps us out a lot. And hit the like button if you haven't yet. This was Andreas for PhysioTutors. I will see you in another video. Bye.